Hello everyone, in this video, I'm going to show to you how to derive the mean for description form distribution. In the derivation process, we need to use this probability mass function or PMF for this distribution which is shown in here as just 1 over n, where this n in here is a constant. The random variable for this distribution has integer values from a to b. Now if we're looking for the derivation where the value of the random variable is from 1 to n instead of this from a to b, that derivation is on another video and I provided the link in the description below so you can check it out if you are interested. So now we can remove this. So in the derivation in this video, the value of the random variable is from a to b. Now for this n in here, it has a value of b minus a plus 1, where this b is this and a is this. So now let us derive the mean. In general, it has a value of expectation of x, where this x is the random variable, and for a discrete random variable, in our case we have a discrete random variable, these are all integers. It is equal to summation of x from here and then times its probability mass function which is in this case this 1 over n. So we have here 1 over n. Then this random variable can have value from a to b. So it is from x is equal to a until x is equal to b. Then this 1 over n in here is a constant so we can move it outside of this summation. Then we need to transform this using the transformation function y is equal to x minus a plus 1. So we're gonna transform this x to y using this and from here x will be equal to y plus a and then minus 1. So this will simplify the evaluation of this. Let us substitute this for x in here and then change this x to y using this. So we have here, we have the 1 over n that we put outside of this summation and then summation of for x we have this. And then y is equal to, when x is equal to a, in here y is equal to a minus a plus 1 or just 1. And then until when x is equal to b, in here we have y is equal to b minus a plus 1. So we have here b minus a plus 1. And then since this b minus a plus 1 is same with this equal to this n, so we can replace this by n. Then we can distribute this summation for this y and a minus 1. So we have here, we have 1 over n, then times summation of we have y from y equals to 1 to n. And then plus summation of a minus 1 also from y equals to 1 to n. And then for this summation in here. It is equal to when y equals to 1, we have 1. And then plus when y is equal to 2, we have 2. And then plus when y is equal to 3, we have 3. And then plus 4 plus etc. Until y is equal to n, we have n. Now this is an arithmetic series, and from algebra, the sum of this arithmetic series 
has a formula of n times n plus 1 over 2. Then we can use this in here. So we have here mean is equal to 1 over n times for this we have this and then plus for this, this a minus 1 is a constant and it is being summed from y equals to 1 to n or n times. So we have here n times a minus 1. Then in here we have a common factor n. So we can move this n outside of this bracket. So we have here n and then we can remove this n and n in here. Then in here n over n is 1 so we can cancel them out. And then for this 2, we can have a common denominator of 2. So we have here we have n plus 1 and then plus 2 times a minus 1 or plus 2 a minus 2. And then we have over 2. And then for this n, we have this b minus a plus 1 equal to n. So we have here, for this n, we have b minus a plus 1. And then plus 1 minus 2 is minus 1. And then plus 2a. Then it is equal to, we have 2. And then we have let us write a first. We have 2a minus a is a. And then plus b. And then we have plus 1 minus 1 is 0. So we can just cancel them out. So we have just this. So we have now the mean. So we have now derived this. So we have now derived the mean for discrete uniform distribution. And I hope you learned a lot from this video and to the next video as well. So thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe in my channel.